Good evening. I'm Marceliza Creus from Amaya School of Home Industries. And now I will present to you my research on localized instructional materials. The title of my research is Localized Instructional Materials for Grade 7 Students of Amaya School of Home Industries. For the context and rationale, implementing rules and regulations of the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013 for Republic Act Number 10533 is stated in Section 10.2.h, allow schools to do localization, indigenization, and enhancement based on their respective educational and social contexts. The Department of Education in Division Office in Tresimarteres City, Cavite, established ILICA program pursuant to Enhancement Basic Education Act of 2013. This program focuses on contextualizing instructional materials of different kinds to address the needs of 21st learners and serves as support teaching aids to the teachers. Amaya School of Home Industries, a technical vocational school located in Sahod Ulan, Tanza, Cavite, adopted ILICA and was revised by the school administration as Project de Lima, project developed localized instructional materials. Both objective is to create learning materials from the school and community resources which can be used as a tool in the teaching learning process. There is no study yet how effective the use of localized competency-based module in the performance of ASHI students. It is on this note that this research is conducted in order to determine whether the use of developed localized instructional materials increase the performance of the learners. So this is the STVEF, Strengthened Technical Vocational Education Program. This is a competency-based curriculum. It covers 21 areas of specialization, including the food trades for the tech box students. Amaya School of Home Industries is using this as technical key competencies. And this is the commercial cooking module for grade 7 and grade 8. The conceptual framework of my study. Now, this is the localized competency-based module for grade 7 food technology students. The content of the localized competency-based module that I've made are pretest, technical terms, information sheet, self-check activity and task sheet, and post-test. This localized instructional material provides sequenced instruction, integrates learnings, literacy skills, critical and creative thinking, discovery and hands-on activities. The module uses school and community resources. The pedagogical approaches and strategies used in this localized module is constructivist approach through thinking skills. Activity-based are the three A's activity, and reflective approach through self-observation and self-evaluation. Research questions are the following. Number one, what is the pretest result of the grade seven food technology learners before the use of the localized learning competency module? Number two, 
What is the post-test result of the grade 7 food technology learners after localized learning competency module was used as intervention? And number 3, compare the pretest and post-test of the learners on the use of localized material. Is there a significant difference? For the methodology, the sources of data and information in the study are grade 7, taking up food technology. They consist a total of 486 students from the identified 17 sections, which were selected randomly out of 24 sections. The pretest post test design is used in data collection. The validated localized competency based module and the 15 item teacher made test served as instruments in gathering data. Maximum of 30 copies of the instruments were reproduced and distributed to its class participant during actual study. All output activities are collected, assessed, and were given scores personally to ensure the confidentiality of the data. The test paired to sample of means served as treatment of data analysis and interpretation. The researcher used quantitative methods such as measure of central tendency, measure of variability, descriptive statistics, and inferential statistics in dealing with the data. For the results and discussion, this is the distribution of respondents' performance before the use of the localized learning competency module. The total average mean is 10. The average variance of scores using SD or standard deviation is 3.42. And the mean percentage score is 66.46. While well, the distribution of respondents' performance after the use of the localized learning competency module are the following. The average mean of the, the scores is 12.15. The average variance is 3.94. And the mean percentage score is 80.97. This is the consolidated data results of free test and post test. The table shows the interpretation of the study after the analysis of the data using the t-test to paired sample of mean. The researchers used the method of comparing the p-value with alpha value which is 0 0.05 to interpret the result. The two sections, which are April and Sampaloc, allow the researchers to accept the null hypothesis that there is no significant difference between the pretest and post test of the learners and the use of the localized learning competency module. The p value of April, which is 0 0.080650, and p value of Sampaloc, which is 0 0.0814505 are both greater than the alpha value of 0 0.05. Meanwhile, the other 15 sections enable the researchers to reject the null hypothesis of no significance since their p-values are less than the alpha value and interpret as significant. For the conclusion, in the study of localization of instructional materials to be used as learning tool for grade 7 of Amaya School of Home Industries, the performance of learners increased after the use of localized learning competency module. The result of pretest has a mean of 10, variance of 3.42, and mean percentage score is 66.46. Well, the result of post-test has a mean of 12.15, variance of 3.94, and MPS is 80.97.
The data analysis of the pre-test and post-test of the 17 sections also revealed the significant result on learners' performance using localized competency-based module. Thank you.